What's up, Timekeepers? Me, Time Game here, bringing another part of Max Payne. If you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so today I'm going to be bringing you another part of Max Payne, the original series. I'm playing the PC version, which is uh, available right now on uh, Humble Bundle for a dollar if you want to buy it. Uh, with, it includes Manhunt, GTA, uh, uh, GTA 3, and GTA Vice City, if you guys want to check that out. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, we'll just keep going in the series. So uh, yeah, so let's just jump right in. So let's go. Chapter 2, live from the crime scene. Doo -doo. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. Right. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Alright. Where the fuck am I? So we just, uh, we're basically starting off chapter two here. Alright. Need some pain pills here. I'm going to be needing a lot more of these pain pills, that's for sure. Hold it. Whoa, I want to do backflips too. Oh, shit. Come on. All right, let's save right here. Let's try our fucking bullet time. Oh, he's not here. Bullet time. Okay, we just look like idiot, an idiot, like two times. Hey, you can't shoot through the wall. That's illegal. That's... A... Come on, just show yourself. Oh, you're, are you out? Ah! <laughs> hey, you shot me. I sh actually shot him through the wall. We're not a shotgun bullets there, my friend? Ah, oh, great. I, I wa always wanted to get my my boot wet. The subway, abandoned subway station. This I'm probably in the sewer now, so... Uh, oops, wrong button. Wrong uh, button. This one here. There we go. Right in the shoulder. Where's the next one? I know there's more of you assholes over here. Uh, should I go over here? Maybe. Whole sack of nothing. God. Right. Save often, because there's no checkpoint. Okay. Probably don't want to be in here. What the hell was that? A lot of rats. Ticket, please. Oh dear god. Oh, one less to fight. Oh, shot off. Hey. 
Hey, hey, hey. Like me a shot off. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Thank God. I don't know, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about a saw two. Hold it. Okay, let's, oh, oh. Hey, hey. Jesus Christ, that gun takes a lot of, takes a lot of... Reload, reload. Call of Duty stop. No! Holy moly. What the hell was that? Hold on here. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Oh, great. Get him. You're alone. Who's gonna get me? Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm running low on the door had been welded here. shut ages ago when the bomb was missing a detonator. I know I should have saved with that much energy on me, but. Jesus Christ. And the bomb was missing a detonator. I didn't know he can shoot me through walls. Probably fucked up saving this this like this. Reload. Save here. Save here. No. Shit. Oh, shit. I need some painkillers here. Hello. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. All right. The bank robber's score lay on the table. 
What is this? The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. All right, let's go back up the stairs. It's gonna blow some shit up. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, rats, you wanna... Oh, okay. What the fuck? All right. Are they both dead? Whew. All right. Uh, let's take a gun that I have more bullets for than this one. Oh, I was hoping there was going to be somebody back there. Hold it. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? Uh oh. No! Not the Desert Eagle. Alex? Alex! Not Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Holy shit, you're just putting. Ah. Uh. Come on, just funnel in. No, there's a third of you in there. Oh, yes, a health uh, med kit. Oh! Hello? I got your tickets here. Let's just wait till our health gets back down here. Nice and safe. Let's save at the same time. Hey Alex, do you mind if I take your gun? 
Oh, I guess you don't have any more. Alright, let's uh let's uh let's go with the shotgun. I got grenades? I got nades, dude! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh! Alright. You did. That's enough of you guys. Dirt bags. Oh shit. Oh, likes run right in the head. Yay, more meds. Alright. Oh, oh. Save this bad boy. Nothing here. How do I get out of here? Oh, do, is there a button in this uh, little station over here? Oh, of course. Of course there is. Have you seen these guys and girls? Hey, we're outside. Alright. We're outside in the snow. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. God damn it. Chapter 3, playing in Bogart? 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 I think it's more Bogart. Sounds more familiar. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. That son of a gun. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors. Cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. <laughs> I walked straight in, playing at Bogart like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint at a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? <laughs> Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I get something for the boss hey. for being all around. That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plant. The Don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. God damn it. Take that, you some bitch. One of them. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, that was the, the most. on the desk caught my eye. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right hand man, Vinny Gagniti. Gagniti was a high strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an over amped Energizer bunny. <laughs> He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. 
son of a bitch. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words. Quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one. Unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. All right. The V deal meant added security. Locked doors and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joe! Vigilio! You all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now! Bosses! We're coming in! It's pain! Oh! Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'm gonna leave this right here. This part will keep going in the uh, hotel to find Vignino or whatever the hell his name was. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm definitely gonna keep co playing some more because this is uh, very fun to play. So uh, leave a comment below what you think of this part of the video of uh, our playthrough of Max Payne. And uh, yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel, we really appreciate that as well. Follow me everywhere, me time gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, Eastern time. But thanks so much, guys, for watching. I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.